Right, hello, welcome to where am I? Yes, welcome to my second Lent update. Um, and today I'm going to be washing dishes. And by dishes, I mean starting with my big fuck off pan. Um, now, it's not my big fuck off pan, but it has most recently been used for my flatmate soup. So there we go, that's what I'm cleaning first. Um, ooh, relatively new sponge, isn't that nice? Um, right, yeah, so um, I come up with ways to keep you updated. Um, it's still very much I'm wearing a suit. Um, it's a different suit. I have two suits, so this is now the second suit that you've seen. Um, obviously different shirt and tie and so on and so forth. Um, and yeah, it's been much the same as it has been previously. Um, the highlights of this week have been um, an, a party that I stumbled in on, I say party, um, my flatmate and some of my old work colleagues and people that are that would have been my work colleagues had I stayed at that job um, were around for dinner and I turned up because you know I live here um, and we had a fun old time you know um, single, now we were supposed to have I will I was hoping to have a great video of myself and one of my former colleagues um, my well maybe sort of sitting in a chair, dancing along to Backstreet Boys, but I was told that no, I wasn't allowed to use that video. Um, apparently my flatmate doesn't trust me to mosaic correctly. Um, so instead, um, you're going to get a video of me playing rock band, because I love playing rock band. And it's been a very long time since I've played rock band. Um, but um, the other day, on a whim, I decided that I would add some funds to my PlayStation account by going to G2A and download it and down and buying um, a PSN card for dollars because I use a US account so I need a dollars account. Um, I need dollars in my wallet. Um, and then I discovered that actually I had loads of money still in my account. Um, luckily I hadn't bought lots of things. Now the, the original thing that prompted this was that actually there's new content on Rock Band um, like that new Foo Fighters song that sounds like Holy Diver. More importantly, there is actually Holy Diver on there, um, which I had completely forgotten had gone there. I'm amazed that I hadn't bought it before. But either way, I now own both of them. Um, obviously, I bought the Foo Fighters one thinking that, you know, that's that was the closest I was ever going to get to having Holy Diver on Rock Band. Obviously, I was wrong. But that's, that's, that's where we are now. Holy Diver! You've been gone too long in the midnight sea. Oh, what's becoming of me? Right, the tiger. You can see his stripes, but you know he's clean. Oh, don't you see what I mean? Gotta get away. Holy diver. Like the eyes of a cat in the black and blue Something is coming for you Look out! Rest for morning You can hide in the sun till you see the light Oh, we will pray it's alright Gotta get away Get away Between the velvet lines there's a truth that's hard to steal, yeah. The vision never dies. Life's a never ending will say. Um, well, that was easy. Oh, um, but yeah, aside from that, today I have been with my nephews um, at the cinema was what we did. Um, we also spent all day not doing anything particularly useful. Um, but, okay. um, now, the real reason though that I went over was because my nephew left me this adorable voicemail saying that I had to come over for a party for 
a sleepover and then we were going to play games and so I went over, obviously all dressed up for a party because that's the only way I'm allowed to go anywhere now is all dressed up for a party um, now the real problem with that is that I know full well that when my nephew, who's five says that he's going to play games especially if it's going to be a sleepover and we're going to be playing games through the night what he means is we're going to play Monopoly and now I am a gamer of sorts I don't do your FPS's and things like that but I do, or I have been known to do board games and the such and that means that I am well aware that Monopoly is about the worst board game that anybody has ever made. It's just so, so bad. Um, and you know, I used to be sort of somewhat apologetic about it and I'd say, oh no, no, you know, you're not playing it right, that kind of thing. But even if you play it right, even if you use the auction rules and so on and so forth, um, for those who don't know, when you're playing Monopoly properly, if you uh, land on a square and don't choose to buy property on there then that, prop that that square has to go up for auction to everybody else um, but even if you use that rule it's still interminably slow and actually what happens is that everyone ends up buying just disparate stuff all over the place and you just sort of nickel and diming everyone down until people get bored and just start doing really really sloppy decisions like I did to just get all the brown properties because I could buy them immediately, but of course by that point I then overspent and then ended up landing on the green properties and the green properties already had everything on them and you know, just, it's all, all went horribly, horribly wrong. But, yeah. Now I had tried before... Oh. I had tried before going out to, to visit my nephews to go visit my local Smiths, um, the toy shop because um, during the week normally they close like ridiculously late, late later than anyone else but apparently on Saturdays no they close at 6 on Saturdays which is a sensible time to close during the week not on a Saturday but either way that's how they work um, I was hoping I'd be able to go in and find some sort of better board game um, but apparently not so yeah no I didn't get to do that I was hoping I was really hoping I was to get some German games going on um, I've got a feeling the carcass on which I already own probably a bit advanced for a five-year-old but i was hoping tickets to ride might be there um now your important thing with german games is that they leave everybody in until the end so what you can do hello, so what happens is that everyone still has a game to play all the way through they never get knocked out like you do a monopoly or something like that um and so you've still got tactics that you can use right through to the end. So even if you know that you're not going to win, you can at least start picking sides and forcing the hands of the people that might win. And that's kind of, that's, that's, I think that's a better game to be playing. Um, one where, yeah, the, where, where you keep going um, and everyone's still got something to do by the end of it. You don't just have the winners and the losers. Everyone, has participated in some way, even if it was just to bolster that winner or loser. And I think that's that's what kind of ended up happening in Monopoly, but in a in a bad way, is where you just decide who you're going to end up giving all your property because screw it, you can't be bothered to play anymore. Um, that's also a nice thing with the German games; they generally have a a finite you know, there's, there's, a, there's an end point to them. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't good games that do go on forever. I've heard very good things about Twilight Imperial um, and the many, 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 many hours that can be played on that. Um, but I dare say there's actually more going on there than is going on in a game of Monopoly because Monopoly is such a simple game and more importantly, it's so very, very down to just complete chance. Um, which is just annoying, you know? It's all very well and good knowing all the strategies, but if you don't hit the squares, then you're just not going to get them. You're going to end up on, on terrible things. Um, admittedly, I had terrible luck last night, so maybe I would be singing a different tune um, if I had been doing better. But honestly, the fact that we were up until two in the morning playing Monopoly is not a good thing. Um, but yes, now, my parents were very, very, well, I say my parents were, my mum was, uh, and my cousin were very impressed. Well, no, my parents were very impressed by me wearing a suit and so on and so forth. Um, my nephew less so, because, you know, he's fine. Uh, my two-year-old nephew and my godson, 
Um, definitely less impressed because you know they, they, they don't know that people are on, are not meant to be wearing suits at any given time. Um, so why would they be impressed? Um, in fact, um, my nephew was was grabbing my jacket by the sort of the button, um, and obviously I only do one button up on it because it's a two button jacket, so you only do one button up on it. Um, and I was very worried that he was just going to yank it loose, but you know I can't stop him doing that because he's a five year old and he's my nephew, and you know let him do what he wants. Um, being affectionate, that's allowed. Um, yeah. Now coming back from that. Um, I had my first real problem because obviously going there, well actually no, the whole going to my parents because as I say it was a sleepover which meant I had to be over there the next night. It was the first time that I've not shaved in the morning um, which I think is alright. I, I don't think shaving was ever, at least not shaving every day, was ever a massive part of the whole thing. Um, but either way, the first day I hadn't shaved but I did take over um, this suit. I was wearing the blue suit yesterday, I'm wearing the grey suit today. Um, but I came into my first real problem with the whole not wearing casual clothing while I sleep. So I can get away with, you know, being in the bath while I'm actually sleeping. You know, I've got covers over me, that's fine. But whereas here normally, you know, I've got, I'm all right to do a quick dash to the, to the bathroom. At my parents, I'm in the study downstairs. So that means my quick dash to the bathroom is a quick dash past every single room in the house. Um, and this was, you know, by the time I was actually having a shower, I was probably 11 or something. Um, so that was never going to be a good plan. So what I had to do was wear my suit to the bathroom. Um, and and that, was, that was really annoying. Um, mostly because it meant that basically I was just doing my, my morning routine with my suit on. Um, including having breakfast so obviously somebody was in the bathroom once when I got up so you know I couldn't go immediately which meant I was now when I wake up as you see I do have my hair sort of gelled which is something I don't normally do but when I wake up I always end up with this ridiculous folk walk going on um, and in no way do I try to make that happen it just does happen naturally um, apparently my hair really wants to be in a folk walk um, so um, so yeah, I'm just walking around with this faux hawk and, and everyone's up, so everyone's seeing me in that. And, but with the suits on as well, because, you know, I can't not have the suits on. So it did look incredibly silly. Um, yeah, but more importantly, the fact that I had the two suits, you know, obviously getting ready was all fine, but the fact that I had the two suits meant that when I got back, and it was absolutely ticking it down. I had to try and work out how to get the suit back into my flat. Because obviously I need it in the morning. So I need to get back in the flat without getting it wet. I'm not sure I actually succeeded in that in any useful sense of the term. Um, but, you know, I tried it. Uh, mostly involved an umbrella and tying up my overcoat all the way to the top, which is cool because, you know, I've got this like, goes right up and and, and covers my throat and everything else. Yeah, um, I've been looking for an excuse to wear the overcoat like that because um, normally it doesn't happen. But yeah, so that actually worked out really well for me. Um, perfectly protected the suit I was wearing, uh, which is this one. Um, but yeah, trying to hold my dirty laundry, my shoes because obviously I've got different shoes for each uh, each suit. Um, and my briefcase and my umbrella because in theory that's what's going to stop everything getting wet uh, oh it just all went wrong you know I, I, I dropped all my toiletries all over the car park and it was oh just just terrible terrible times um and yeah just everything getting wet when it shouldn't have been getting wet it's just um if, so it's 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 a harder life than than i ever wanted to leave but there we go um, those are the perils of wearing a suit every day. Um, and something that I now have to live with. Um, yeah. I feel like there's probably more that I should have been saying. Um, sorry that I'm not ironing. I know that I'm sure you all wanted to see the, the brass 
uh, collar bones, uh, bones for my collar. I call them stays, but apparently they're called bones. But anyway, that'll be for another day. I can't control the days that I that I iron on. Well, I mean, I can. I have a, a finite amount of shirts. Speaking of which, I've got a new shirt from Marks and Spencers. I, I ordered one of their made-to-measure shirts. Um, it at uh, once is too loose and too tight. It's really weird how it fits, but it fits well enough that I can wear it, and that's what matters. Um, it's got this whole, because it's supposed to be like Savile Row inspired, or at least the one that I got was, it's got this whole thing where, you know, it's got um, stitching around the collar as if it were a detachable collar, which I'm not sure it is, uh, but it would like to think it is. Um, but the, all that really does is just sort of scrape your, your neck a lot, um, which is annoying and gets a bit itchy. But it's fine, I may do, it's a nice, solid powder belt. I've not got enough solid colours. I've got all these diamond weaves and, and stripes. And obviously the stripes aren't, I'm not allowed to wear with this Czech, Czech shirt, but, uh, I'm told. I'm pretty sure I'm not aware, allowed to wear this tie with this Czech shirt or just generally in polite company. But there we go. Um, yeah. So either way, I think that's roughly where it is. Um, I was hoping to start a whole series on the um, on the cufflinks that I'm wearing, but I've only got three pairs of cufflinks that I care about. I say care about, that I bought the day before I started doing this. Um, but either way, you know, we've got, we've got a few weeks of this, so that series can certainly still happen. Um, and yeah, I've still got dishes to wash, so I will just keep doing that. And I think, I think that's, that's about it. Um, yeah. Okay. Anything else I did? No, no, that was that was that was about it. Um, oh yes, I saw Sean the sheep. Um, obviously, I'm wearing woolen suits, so Sean the sheep made sense. More, you know, I was I was at the cinema with a five year old, and that's why Sean the sheep made sense. Also made sense for the two year old. Who knew? Um, but yes, the point there is that Shaun the Sheep is actually a really good film, despite having no discernible dialogue. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd go watch it. I did go watch it. You should go watch it. Um, and I'm gonna leave it at that. So, thanks for watching, as ever. Don't know what you did, but good for you. Goodbye. Stuff on the floor and the lock on my door. Burn donkeys in the mess I made, so I can't go anywhere. I wanna stay home with my headphones on. I wanna stay home with my headphones on. Rock on with the headphones on. With the headphones on With the headphones on Yeah, that didn't go well. <laughs>